Bang! That is just looking so cool. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. So back in the shop again today, gonna work on some more wiring like I did yesterday. Got all the wires printer train into the cab, got everything set up with the battery. So now it's gonna be to start making some of the main power wires, getting the starter hooked up and then working on my little fuse panel I need to make. So I have some sheet metal here. I also bought some other sheet metal, not sure where I put it. Shop's getting to be a mess again. Gonna need to do some more cleanup, but gonna build a little uh, panel to hold all of the relays inside the truck and then make it removable so then all the relays can be inside. I can kind of mount everything, wire everything up outside the truck, take it over and install it in the truck with four bolts instead of trying to mount all the relays and everything else on the Camaro. I have like random relays randomly in the car and stuff. So I'm gonna to try to clean up the wiring where if I have to work on something on this, hopefully it makes it a little bit easier. So I need to actually pop another hole. I'm thinking I was gonna run the main power wire down along there, along the back of the engine and in with that grommet, but I do have some more wiring to run like this wire here that goes to the poly and these two wires need to come out to the battery as well so i need actually another grommet anyway there's a little spot inside the truck right about here from a factory grommet so i might just pop a hole in this plate here and then run a grommet right there and then also i can come out that same grommet run wires down along the frame rail into the back of the truck so that might clean everything up and give me an extra place to run some of the wiring. So when looking at wiring a truck like this, you have all the EFI stuff. You're gonna have your ignition that needs to feed the EFI. Then also you have things like the fan. So I need to put two relays for the two fans. Uh, I guess you could probably do one and then trip them both to turn on at the same time, which probably is what's gonna happen mostly with this, but I'll probably put them on two separates for now, just so I have control over them in case we ever do drive this truck. Uh, with six gallon fuel cell, probably not gonna happen very often, but I want to uh, try to keep it and also show you guys some of the wiring within the holly. So going to get that set up. I don't have any of these pigtails, so I kind of got to get that figured out. I might wait on that anyway just a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and start with making the wires that go from here to the starter and here to the inside of the truck, which will end up being on this lug that will be mounted on that panel. So I will get a panel built, put that on there with the relays, get this installed in the truck and mounted today, run the dash over to the dash area, and then this is the in-out harness. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with putting this here in the vise. I don't have a big crimp to crimp these pieces on here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and solder them and then smash them down. Uh, I've done it on all the other cars, seems to work okay. I need to slide a little piece of heat shrink tubing on here and then go ahead and solder that in. Little propane torches you can get pretty much at any hardware store. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Heat this up right here pretty good and then just start feeding in some of the solder. Um, as it heats up and lets it flow in there, we'll make that all solid. And then go ahead and smash the top just a little bit, either the vise or some vise grips or whatever, uh, as it's kind of cool. Put some heat shrink on it, so we got that finished up. So now I have the line to go from the battery to the starter. And now I need to pop the big wire out that I'm running inside and go ahead and put the ends on that one. So like I talked about in the last video, I think this is a good spot for the ECU. Go ahead and just mount it to the uh, plastic here. The plugs will go out the back there. And then everything's easy to see in case you ever have to look at these LEDs or whatever. I don't think I will, but if I ever do, um, I'll check it out. I played with a few Terminators and never have looked at those, but I know they're there for something. I think it'll be pretty good. Then all you'd have to do is really come in here under your four little screws, pull it out. You can unplug everything. You probably still unplug it without, but uh, tuck it in there real nice and easy. And then it's just a good place to put it. Brings all the wires high up in the dash so your ECU and stuff is not down on the floor and you're not kicking it and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and set that there and get it mounted too. Okay, so I have everything laid out here and I'm just going to go ahead and cut me a panel that's about this size. Got two relays. I think I'm actually going to need another relay I wasn't thinking about. So um, somewhere to add another relay. So probably a piece of metal that's about this big to mount all this stuff to and then bring the main power up, tie all my relay powers on, then run all the wires out to everything. A lot of these, like the black ones will get grounded, red ones get power, and then you have 
the signal wire that'll come from the ECU, so those will be short, and then you have the main wire that will go and power whatever you are running. So there will be some power run wires running throughout the truck to go and power the things like the fuel pump, the fans, the tranny fan, and all of that. I ended up cutting, ended up going 12 by 8. Went ahead and marked my little spots in the corners where I'm going to drill holes for the mounting of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and start mounting the relays on here as well as getting this power lug mounted up on here. I think I go relays up top, power lug below, and then I'll kind of have this area in here for like the little distribution block and stuff that I got in case I need it for uh, triggering extra things off of the ignition. So now you can see how this is starting to take shape. All the power to feed the relays will come from here. I'm um, thinking I might use this little block as bringing all the relays over time to here and then each one of these will turn on and off. So it'd be like fuel pump, fan one, fan two, and trans fan or something like that. Or I could even um, hook two here to like activate both fans at the same time or whatever. But this would be the uh, activation wires to the relays then the relays will wire out to the accessory. So I just need to figure out kind of where this is going to mount up in the truck now, drill my holes, and then I can finish wiring everything together a second hole here and actually the first hole I'm using I'll use another nut on the back of this bolt right here and then it'll end up hanging it in there and it ended up working out pretty well. You guys can see it. That other bolt is actually right there. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. So that bolt right there and then the, uh, the plate just goes up in there and hangs on that and then uh comes over and has the other mount here so the plate will be hanging right here so the main power wire I brought in earlier is right here it'll come up hook onto that mount all my relays here so if I need to get in and work on anything I can just undo two bolts or a nut and a bolt drop it down work on it and then put it back into place so I only had one more connection to make this red wire to this relay over here but then I started realizing I don't have any fuses and I figured that I'd go on the other side or whatever but I guess they suggest fuses go in line here. So um, it should actually be between here and the relay and then it feeds out. So if it's gonna pop, it'll pop here. So it should come off of this and go to a fuse and then to the relay. So I need to figure out what type of little inline relay or whatever, just to at least give this some uh, protection. So I guess if you didn't do this, it would end up popping the relay. If you maybe up front of the parts store real quick and go from there. And back with every 30 amp inline fuse holder they had. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go ahead and undo my nice wiring here and add in inline fuses before each one. I wanted to do like a little fuse block, but they only rate them to 15 amps and I'd like to get this thing started this weekend hopefully. So I am not gonna like worry about ordering a whole like little fuse block or whatever. I'll just run these little inline fuses right here and then uh, still, it'll still be all self-contained. It just won't be as nice as having like a little block right here. Alrighty, so here is my little relay panel that I built. I got the fuses installed. So this is the time to pay attention and really read, reread, and double check everything. I actually had some stuff hooked up wrong, read it, verified it, and now hooking it all up correctly. So the first thing I was looking at was electric fans. It says this output will provide ground to trigger the relay. So then on the trigger side of the relay, you need to feed it with power, which is 12 volt power. And then the ground, I thought, I was thinking it was going to go to chassis ground, but it doesn't. It goes to ground through the ECU. So this is the input output harness. The gray yellow is one of the fan outputs, so that will end up coming in here uh, and tying on. So this is the gray yellow or whatever. It would come in here. When that grounds, it will ground the relay, which will switch it and send power out to whatever it is. Fan one, fan two, trans fan. But the fuel pump is different. When you're looking at the output, optional 12 volt fuel pump, or this is also the trigger wire for the fuel pump, used to directly power a fuel pump or send a 12 volt signal to the fuel pump using a relay. So with this one, I'm sending 12 volts to it to feed it. This will go out and power the fuel pump. This will ground it. And then this will get a 12 volt hot coming in. So 12 volt hot coming in from the Holly is gonna send out a 12 volt signal, which will trip the relay to ground, which will then feed power from here through the relay and out to the fuel pump. So that will go directly to fuel pump. So I pretty much have this all set up. And then my main 12 volt power will come in and tie onto this lug that I built earlier that you guys saw. And then these two wires here, these blue ones, are gonna go out to the fans to trigger them. And then the trans fan, this yellow wire, is gonna go out to trigger it, to power it. 
to actually give it power and make it run. And then on the other sides of the fan, they'll be grounded to chassis. So I have everything here to pretty much power everything in the vehicle. This is the IO harness and the Holly. So I'll add some ends to the ones that I know. They'll plug in here. It'll go up, plug into the main harness. And then we got some wiring done. So I need to get this mounted up in the truck and then start running the wires out to all the locations on things that they need to go to. Something I'm gonna try is I'm actually gonna try to trigger the trans fan and fan one off of the same input. So once the truck hits say 160 degrees, the first fan will come on on the truck and the trans fan. And then if the truck starts getting hotter, like in a burnout, like once it breaks 180 degrees, I'll have it trigger the second fan on the radiator. So one fan will come on with the trans fan in the back at the same time. And then at a certain temp, probably like 160 to be ahead of it in the burnout. And then hopefully the truck is cool, but I know it's going to build heat during the burnout. So then it'll kick on the second fan once the truck hits normal operating temp. Hopefully it'll help maintain it, maybe even 175 to give it a little bit of a head start. And then hopefully maintain that temp throughout the burnout. But definitely, if you're wiring up a Terminator, Holly, HP, Dominator, read, read, read. A lot of these, uh, you can just choose. You can choose to trigger a fan off of 12 volt power or ground. Uh, you can do it either way, but you're only going to get so many in the Holly. Some are only good for ground. Some are only good for hot outputs. So if you're trying to trigger everything off of hot, you're usually going to run out of hot outputs unless you have like a Dominator, and that gives you a whole bunch more inputs and outputs to choose grounds or power uh, inputs or outputs for triggers. I went ahead and majored the main power wire, pulled it out and finished it off. And now I'm gonna also run these wires in with it. So I was looking at it, I might be able to run the fan wires, the power fan wires in through the same loom, uh, but I'd have to cut back on it. So it kind of sucked, but it also make it kind of nice if I did run it with it. Not sure how I'm gonna exactly do it right now, but uh, I'm gonna get this in and see where I'm at at least lengthwise, because I know I got way more than enough to cut so i can cut it way back uh get this kind of measured to where it's going to plug into the ecu up there measure it out to the battery and then cut off the excess it is ran in there so this is all extra from about here all the way to here will be all extra so gained a little wire there but I think this is designed to be that long, so if you have something mounted up in the front here, the ECU, you want to run it all the way back to a rear battery, like in that car, you can, because uh, I remember not having to extend that wire. So it goes all the way from the ECU up here, under the dash, down along the kicker, up along the wheel well, and into the back where the battery tray sits right in the corner of the car right there. So uh, plenty of extra wire there, so I think that'll make it a nice little clean route just come out there done along the framework with the other power wires come up sneak it behind the battery and come out here and that's where i'm thinking if i run my two power wires for the fans i can pop them out just below run them over and come into the fans right here and then two grounds off the fans and then the fans will be wired so i'll probably go ahead and cut this all right so that's it for today that's about a solid 12 hours of working and wiring on the truck just getting wires ran measuring cutting splicing, connecting, building a relay panel, running the parts store, getting what I needed and all of that, but we are definitely making some progress. Tomorrow, I hope to finish up the wiring and I'd love to try to start it just to uh, at least fire it here at run. Doesn't have to have everything. I don't have a drive shaft for the truck or anything, so can't really go drive it, but I could at least try to start it and make sure everything clicks and works and looks good. Uh, hopefully maybe by about midday tomorrow, I can kind of power everything up not too far away from getting the ECU plugged in, getting some inputs, outputs, and then giving power to the ECU to make sure that everything looks and is functioning. So if you guys want to see more of the burnout truck and hopefully see it fire soon, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.